Dr Bradshaw, you've written a book called Dogs, Understanding Your Very Best Friend. Can you tell me a bit about what's in the book and why you wanted to write it? In the book, I tell the story of one day in the life of a little dog called Rusty. I've tried to make Rusty as much like an actual dog as I possibly can. The idea is to help children understand what it's really like to be a dog. First, dogs understand the world through their noses and not so much through their eyes. YouTube for dogs wouldn't need to have a screen, it would be an actual tube with lots of stinky smells coming out the top. That's why when dogs go on walks they spend so much time sniffing everything. Sniffing is their main way of finding out what's going on in the world. So that's why dogs are always sniffing things. Is that the only difference between people and dogs? No, there's something else that's very important if we're to understand our dogs properly. Dogs' minds work differently to ours. They are very special animals, the only kind of animal that can get more attached to humans than to one another. And somehow they know instinctively that they need a human to look after them. Dogs that have been abandoned will try to go home with anyone who's treated them well, even if they've only known that person for half an hour. And dogs live in the moment. That means they don't think too much about what's going to happen tomorrow. When you leave your dog alone for the first time, he'll have no idea whether or not you're ever coming back. Dogs have to be taught that being alone isn't the same as being abandoned forever. That's a really important part of training, but sadly it's one that lots of owners don't know they ought to do. That's really interesting. Can you tell me what you hope your book might achieve? I want every family to understand what their dog is thinking and feeling. Dogs are not little furry humans, even though it's sometimes fun to pretend that they are. They don't understand everything we say. They trust us to understand them. If we can do that, there will be much happier dogs.